There are a couple different ways you could play this. Um, some people play it with a capo on the second fret with different chord progressions, but I believe the original is done without a capo, so I'm gonna teach it that way. No capo, just standard tuning. Uh, and the parts are the intro lick, uh, which we all know, which is awesome. And then there are three basic chord progressions. So I'll get into those along with the song structure, which are shown right here. Here's that intro lick. And you're right into the verse. Here it is, slower. Now there's a lot of hammer-ons, so you're kind of mashing these two, and then right after you pluck them, you hammer on there, you hammer on here, okay, you hammer on again down here, and then on this part it's a double hammer-on, okay, okay, so you got to practice that to get it right. Here's the verse riff. It's done two more times, okay, so four times total through the progression, okay? Now, instead of playing the A this way, you could play the A bar chord if you like. I think that's what they actually do in the song, but the open may be easier. For the C sharp minor, you gotta play it this way. And then for the D, instead of playing the bar chord, you could play the open chord there if you like, okay? So do whatever's comfortable. For you. There are two general patterns. These aren't exact, but this will get you through the song. The first is pretty easy. Sometimes they just drive through with a one and two and three and four and I think the piano does that. The second, which is a little more complicated, goes like this, okay? It's a uh, Two bits of notation to note in the strumming pattern. Those lowercase d's are a palm mutes, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm strumming, but I'm using my hand right on the bridge here, so there's a little bit of a resonant hum. So it's not fully played and it's not fully um, muted, but that's what these lowercase d's are, okay? The second are the rakes, which are this sound, where I'm actually trying to mute all the strings and strum them. So you kind of hit it, and it's more of a, percuss a percussive sound, excuse me. Okay, so this is very subtle, and these are suggestions, but you're going to have to play this slowly to build the technique and then integrate it into the strum pattern. But you're going to get there if you take your time. Here's that pattern a little slower. Here's that famous chorus with a transition back to the verse. Take a load off Fanny. Take a load for free. Take a load off Fanny. And, and, and put the love, put the load around on me. And you're right into the verse. Now, if it's hard for you to play this A and then reach with your pinky to that G sharp, you could just play the A like this, kind of bar it down, and then that leaves you your pinky or your uh, ring finger to play that G sharp there, okay? So do what's comfortable for your hand. Something that makes the end of the chorus interesting in that vocal chorale is that it's actually seven beats, okay? So there's the which is on beat one, and then the three ands are on beats two, three, and four, then the, the next measure, which is only three beats, put, the first put, is on beat one, and then the second put is on beat two, 
So it's put, put the load right on me is the downbeat of that transition section, okay? You've got this. Now there's a second way you could play the transition chords, okay? You could stay on A, and you could walk down to the G sharp, okay? And then you could uh, use your thumb to grab the F sharp there, keeping the A shape above. And then you could have that E, right, keeping the A shape above it. And then go to the Okay, so do it either way. Uh, I think both options work. On the structure, it's important to note that that transition bar is actually played twice the last two times, okay? So the second to last chorus and the last chorus, it does that transition bar twice, okay? And if you forget it, that's okay, okay? Just do it once, that's totally cool. That's The Weight, which is a classic sing-along that's just sung and played all around the world. The trick is really that intro lick, but you'll get there. And then the counts and the vocal rounds at the end of the chorus are also pretty tricky. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward chord progressions and you just have to practice it. So you'll get there, have fun with this, and rock on. Here's that famous chorus. It